Greetings everybody. Hello Hello Squad community. It's Saturday, so we are starting the use of C event. It's 84th one to be precise. And we have a good bunch of uh, matches arranged for today, including a lot of veterans, returning players, new players who got enough experience to challenge said veterans. So I bet it will be interesting to watch and participate. We'll be starting with Boris versus Oaken Leaks. Only recently got acquainted with uh, Boris, meeting him in uh, one of our community events, and he's playing a pretty strong Isabella. He has his own decent unique style, so I wonder how he will match with Oaken Leaks, who promised to bring us something new to the table today. So probably not his usual Laszlo, but some interesting surprise with character selection and style of play. Well, I might know what he will be picking, but I won't spoil it. I'll let you guess for now. And I'll invite the fighters to start. Oaken is already connecting. Also, guys, uh, please remind me if you need keyboard. I know that Oaken is using keyboard, but I'm not so sure about Boris. So if you need keyboard access, just write it in Discord chat. I'll give you it. Mm -hmm. Boris is connecting. I'll check if the stream is running fine. Ken is using keyboard, but yeah, looks good. Settings are fine, so I'll start the game. Ah no, Boris is using. Gamepad, so it's all good. As usual, we play best of five series with seven flags. More than enough rounds to adjust to your opponent and then counter adjust and then some more. Wish you both luck, guys. Show us a good fight. Again, Boris, please take the left side, open on the right. Boris goes not with Isabella but with Gideon. As Oaken is bringing his gun to the table. Yeah, his style is very aggressive and oppressive, I might say. It's uh, like it's somewhat similar, at least for me, in my eyes, to how he plays Laszlo, but with even more cuts, with even longer combos. And actually, it's surprising how this uh, regular looking forward moving cutting combo of uh, Jan can parry a lot of attacks. Yeah, like you try and throw something against it, and Jan just parries and goes on. Because the follow up, the second one, is really coming kind of fast at you. Oh, Oak was getting close to getting tired, but. So land the cut. Yeah, more swinging, but Boris showed patience now and picked the right moment to counter. Nicely done. Hmm, more foots inside Boris. Ah, but eventually 
Oak moves in, draws enough to land an attack. Yeah, and here he goes again. Oak just looks for the moment to go in with those strikes. And it's hard to get around them. I know it's first hand. Oh, yeah, just Oak picked just the right timing to land this in between Gary's attacks. Yeah, very dominant performance and Boris needs to find some keys to this style. I'm switching names. And you guys please switch sides. Oh, Boris is walking back to easy. Yeah, this style actually for someone unprepared may look pretty simplistic. Like Jan just goes forward and swings and swings like it's a new bear attacking. But Oak is really good at uh, like finding the right distance to start this combo off. And yeah, just as I said, he <laughs> mistimed and misjudged the distance. But oh well, most of the time he's good at picking the right time and the right distance. And also he's good at mixing up this combo with some belly lunges, side stab attacks, corkscrews. So yeah, it may look simple, but you need to you need to have the basics down to pull it off. But so far, Boris is doing good with Zizi, playing a, a really nice defensive style, stopping Oaken's advances. He tries to keep his distance. To use its slight reach advantage of a long sword. Yeah, decided to use its thrust again, but received a cut into the head. Hmm. Looks like Boris is trying to preempt token as he is moving in, and it's working good so far. Some whips, but eventually he lands a hit. Oh, nice. Nice one. It's not easy to time this. I missed a few of those sidestep horizontal cut combos while playing easy versus open. Hey, Tao. Oh, hi, Subo. Guys just finished their second duel. It's 1-1, one, one, so it's a good time nice. for you to hop in. Alright, I'm joining now. Mm -hmm. Accepted. And I'm switching Oh, good key design for. Yep, so besides guys. Is he gonna join us in use of CS Ball? Yeah, he said he's joining the fun. That's good, because we don't have so. an opponent for Piper, so... Yeah, that's great. Yep. We have a spot just for you. He's also another player from my hometown, so it's really cool. Yeah. So, the first fight, Boris used Gideon, and uh, mm -hmm. Oaken literally destroyed him. With his uh, Jan going forward and cutting like that. Mm -hmm. But then Boris played a very nice defensive easy, and got a victory of his own. Nice. So Oak will need to adjust, but I'm sure he's capable of that. His style is very interesting with Jan. Mm -hmm. like, even Maestro isn't using those uh, basic YX or YY combos like that. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> not so much, I mean. 
Yeah, I get what you're saying. He is using some of the meta moves as well. Obviously not quite the same way Luck does, but... Throws them here or there. Yeah, I think if he learns some of those cancels, he'll be even... He'll be playing even stronger on. Oh, the cross guard catching those cuts, but he keeps going because he senses victory. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, tired, but he might be tired too. No, he isn't. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, just got it for one more, and he needed that one more. Yeah. He smelled blood and kept going, so... Yeah, you see? Just how big is the parry potential with those basic cuts for Jan? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Perfect position for that. Wow. Boris probably didn't expect to be out of reach there, but that's because he got his hand out in the, way, in the way of that cut. Yeah. Oh. That's dangerous. Boris can't get overconfident here. Oak is very capable of adjusting and of applying pressure. Yeah, of course. Nice, oh, oh. Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> How did it even hit? Easy was going to the side. It somehow it tracked. Yeah. Oh. Uh, nice retreat cut. Yeah, Boris can parry too. Boris still slightly ahead, but Oak is now putting up quite the fight. Oh, oh that's dangerous, yeah. Yeah, if your opponent is trying to preempt you, belly lunge is a big opening that you give to your opponent. Oh! Steady Donna. Oak doesn't engage, but... Most are close to getting tired. That's the danger of Oak Steady Donna. Nice double. Oh, nice cancel the parry. Boris nearly got tagged there. Oh! Oh! What? what? Probably he semi parry damage. <laughs> yeah. It, it wasn't the full parry, but it might have saved his oh. life. And there, the strong of the blade met Isabella's blade. Yeah, great single tempo parry. Oh, nice. Good snipe. Yeah, that's what Jan does best, I think. He, he picks you apart, whether you're defending uh, or attacking, and then hopes to follow up. But Boris is able to hang in there. Yeah, he needed the thrust, and he managed to land it to one. He takes the lead. Switching names. Same Interesting. Too. Yeah. I think Oak should use Blaslow, but obviously he feels perfectly happy using Yon or wants to get better with Yon, so. The problem is that, that he will surprise us with his new style. And he was practicing Yon this whole week, so. That's probably true. He wants to have some like competition experience with him. Really testing the guard here, but he's a bit too far for some of these. Nice parry repost, though. I was fighting him with different characters against mm -hmm. his style, and it's really not easy to find the right timing to attack in between those attacks. Mm -hmm. If you attack too early, you're getting parried and destroyed. Yeah, so Boris, I think, has largely been doing the right thing in response to them. Yeah, he tries to move the distance, stay at range, maximum range yeah. for him. And he can just the right time to counter. Oh! Again, he semi sort of parried it, but he got hit. Uh, both fighters got hit, in fact. If that was a full on hit, that would have been Boris's point. Nice. Nice. He just gotta finish it. 
Oh. Oh. Nice defense by Boris. Boris getting tired though. Actually, Oak a little bit as well. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, guard. Oh. Interesting, he likes that false edge cut from low guard. That was an intense moment in the end with low stage. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't see many Isabellas using that false edge cut. I never thought to use it either. But... Oh, Oof. what a snipe. Right into the reef. Yeah. Boris was trying that move where you cut down, then after a pause, you come right back up, kind of like that. Oh, but again, uh, it can be a bit slow. Boris missed just very narrowly and immediately got punished. That's what Oak is really good at. Oh, again. Yeah. It's close enough and make, make the smallest mistake against Oak and you'll pay for it. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Cuts out of measure, wow. Yeah, so close. Actually, by both, Boris was a bit too far, too. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Names switched. Yeah, the same characters, not surprising. Now we'll see the conclusion of this match. Oh, double? Oh, no. No. Didn't, I guess, get that blade in deep enough. Because I think the yeah. game considers that, like, if it's a shallow thrust, it just doesn't do any, do a whole lot. Oh, usually wrists are one of the more vulnerable spots, but yeah. Probably not enough mm -hmm. damage. Yeah. It's the same reason why if you run into the, to the thrust, it does more. Mm. The oak is just on fire right now. And Boris is really struggling here. Yeah, and he's fine with those doubles. I've seen it a lot while fighting him. It just goes and goes and goes. Yeah, I like that. No fear. Yeah. Overwhelming him with the offense. Because sure, you oh, can keep parrying him. Boris is pretty good at that, but at some point... You gotta attack back, and at some point... Your parries are gonna stop working, so... Oh. Nice, uh, belly lunge. Oh. A bit greedy, I think. But but Oak's tactics there were still really good, I think, besides that. Just the idea of going to different angles. Nice stab. Yeah, that's a combo. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, no. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Slice and dice. That was like four different cuts, but that's because one of them, or one or two of them, was kind of shallow. I think it was the, the 11 damage or something grazing. Yeah, it's scary <laughs> to try and get around yeah. this. Yeah, and while he's oh, doing nice. that, he's doing stuff with the corkscrew, and yeah, Boris did the right thing there, just challenging him. Yeah. Need to do it. Ooh, that X cut is really short range. It kept him safe, but yeah, it just doesn't threaten Oak meaningfully. So Oak has momentum on his side and only needs one more. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that might be the strategy for Boris is to challenge him if you get these single tempo encounters, then it, then Oak can certainly be shut down. That is nice. brave by Boris. Nice. Yeah, that was beautiful. Need to rest. Yeah. yeah. Boris has the right idea now. Oak has to be very careful. Oh. <laughs> it's a double. Yeah, saving grace for Oaken. Nice try. Ooh, that cut was a little bit slow. Oh. 
Nice try. Guys, this is intense. Yeah, very tight game by both players. Nice uh, combos, yeah. but yeah, Oak has momentum after that parry. Yeah, parry then immediately responded. Nicely done, and Oak gets it. Very well fought, guys. It was a pleasure to watch. Okay, looks like Luck will be joining us as well. Nice, a lot of people nice. are coming. Okay, so first one goes to Roken. Let's see if Pico is here. You will be firing him then. Yeah, good job, Boris, by the way. You might have lost, but your improvement has really shown here. Like, I've, I remember fighting you when we first sparred, and I see a lot of growth, so good job. Gave one of our veterans a really challenging fight. Uh, Pekula picked my host, by the way. He's already joining. Ah, okay. Great. I'm connecting to you then. Yeah, my host is closer, so mine should be better anyway. Okay. So Pico will start on the left, you'll be on the right initially. I'll set the names. Hmm. Dana Mira, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I was waiting to see if he was going to pick Tarnovsky, at which point I was going to mirror him, so... Nice, Good luck, nice. Pekla. <laughs> That's an appropriate start. Showing that both fighters are equally good. To answer the call, so just put the fire to now, guys. I'm back. Uh, the video might be a bit stuttery, guys. I'm sorry for this, but yeah, this guy is pretty far away from me. Oh, nice thrust right into the belly. is aiming for those uh, belly thrusts, it seems. Uh, got caught in between his combo cuts. Nice. Big swing and super will land the kill of his own. <laughs> yeah, and responds with the thrust as well, but 
steal a double. really framey for me. After you guys finish I'll try to let maybe someone can join and stream into Discord. Hmm, down to the last flag. Nice. <laughs> They're touching tips, as all men should. Down, and a treat cut. Apiku is being more patient now. Less combos are being thrown. Oh. <laughs> what a double! Awesome mode of measure attack. Oh. Nice Russian. Uh, Shubu, can you please wait for a bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's uh, really laggy for me. Like Not big spikes, but I'm getting stable frame drops, so video should be really, really not good. Okay. Uh, I'll try to ask if Maestro maybe can join you and stream into Discord or something like that. Uh, hang on one second, Pekla. I'll mirror you, of course, but uh, we're just don't waiting for... start for a bit. Yeah. I'll just click off so that we don't get started okay, who else too can soon. Do it? Maybe actually I'll ask Pico. Yeah, it might be a bit better if he does it instead of me. Yeah, like if you do it, it's like more load on the host, and it's not good for the fight. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll just invite Pico to speak in here. Already done. Yeah, nice. And please stream here, Pico. Nice. Perfect. All right. Now wait, wait a bit, please. I need to capture the yep. stream. Yeah, and like this. Yeah, and I'll swap your names now. Okay, good to go. That was really fun to watch. Show us some more of this. Oh, Laszlo's now. Two red chads. Subu takes the first blood. <laughs> more arms going off. I think there is a double in echo due to the stream being used in Discord. I'll check it out after I finish. And it's going pretty fast so far as usually it goes with Laszlo's. Once they start going at each other, this combo heavy cuts. Yeah, so we just goes forward. Applying as much pressure as he can muster. And Pico is desperately trying to retreat and defend himself.
Cats are coming so fast, it's hard to tell anything. Yeah, and this retreating wire is actually a good one. Oh, so we'll get some twirly one around and get a uh, wrist again. And just one moment, guys, please don't start. Yeah. I'm checking why, why do I get echoes. Nice round, by the way, Pekla. That went way better than I thought. <laughs> no, Pico is Still muted. intense though. Pico is muted, so it shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I'll swap the names. Let's go. So Pico decided to go to his main and the responded in time. Zero on Alex. Mm, we're going good for Pico so far. Oh! Tried to rush in, but he will still grab the double. Oh, oh. And yeah, nice sidestep. Yeah, and Alex is feeling comfortable when closing up. Because he's fast and he's got a damage cut, so rushing him might be not the best idea for people. Keeps doing those rushes for some reason. Yeah, you can get a double, you can get yourself killed. Oh, that was nasty. Very dominant performance by Subu with Alex. Yeah, why do you need to change stuff when it was working well? Decrease back to Tanaski. One last time I managed to find out why I was getting those echoes. I was still connected through the Pasek. So obviously I got them. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. I've done it too sometimes. Don't even realize you're still in. Hmm. Oh, nice cut. Getting the wrist. Yeah, I can't really say anything about Tarnovsky. I know... <laughs> I know like only a few moves for Alex as well, so it's really hard to analyze, but probably... Probably Tana might want to have more distance between him and Alex initially, because his faster attacks usually come from some combo and his follow-ups. And well, his uh, basic defense with right leg forward is pretty solid. 
Now what people are trying to get some high guard cuts and actually gets them. Ah, yeah. That's really all civilians just get close enough and then strike from some angle. Those quick cuts just kill outright for Alex. But Pico is still trying to fight. Switching stances and avoiding a double, even though he was tapped in the head. Oh, nice. That was really close. Good defense by Pico. But Subu is keeping the pressure on, going forward, which results in a double. Mm, big cut. Oh, nice thrust. No kill. And yeah, Subu just overwhelms with pressure. But it's really strange how such a. Uh, when such a big sword goes into your belly, and that's not a kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would certainly hurt. <laughs> yeah, still good game. Slow-mo at the end. Yeah, I I noticed a few slow-mos at the beginning, too. Not, like, during the fight, but... Yeah, I don't know what that was. I think the FPS was the same, but... Um, maybe, yeah, something to do with the game. Maybe it has something to do with those recent updates. Maybe you just need to reinstall the game or something like that. Could be, yeah, could be. Oh, Anyways, well. very solid performance, Subo. GG. Yeah, good fight, Pekla. Nice comeback at the end, by the way. It was looking pretty bad for you, but... You actually did pretty well with Tarnovsky in the end, so... Yeah, probably if he just stick to Tarnovsky, it could be better for him. He started to adjust to your Alex, and uh, maybe if he just played more, he would find some better moves that were uh, working well. So, yeah, it, it's Pico for you. He just picks yeah. any character almost randomly, or it might look like he's picking randomly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And I think a few times, like in the Laszlo mirror, what would happen is he's doing his cancel stuff, right? But I was just happy to get into range and throw a cut as soon as I'm in measure. And that can really mess you up if you're a bit too fancy with those. So I think that was the big problem he ran into. Okay, I just started the game. I'll post a link in a moment, guys. Here it is. Join up. Set. No. That being said, though, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think Pekel is the only one who's really mastered Tarnovsky so far. So, yeah, I still don't I know that's what I'm doing if, too. if I'm playing him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did pretty well, but I think he was still a cut above me when we fought. So, well, it was a really close one. Just De single flip difference. Yeah. Okay. No one of the two guys uh, is responding. I'll wait for a minute. If it remains that way, we'll just move uh, to another match. Ah, okay. Roderick is here. Oh, yeah, the parsec thing, that's fine. Yeah, usual stuff. Uh, we should be good for now, Piper, but that's good to know. And you have an opponent anyways, just uh, yeah. need to wait a bit. Uh, we'll have two duels, Sinister Roderick, Apostle Maestro, and then you will be fighting Piper.
And if you want to check like the latest schedule possible, you can just go into the stats table. I'm always updating it as we go. Well, just like, wait, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of the guys is in. Mm, no, I think it's uh, Sinister. Or is it you, Roderick? Yeah, that was Sinister. Now Roderick is connected. Yeah, yeah. Both guys yeah, his name's Patchin. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. Luck doesn't have it. He'll get one. He'll get one for sure. Names is set. Yeah, sure, Piper. Oh, yeah, Piper wants to play. Excellent, yeah. Well, let's go. You don't want those, pal. <laughs> That's what Lux says. Sinister, you take left side. Yeah, yeah, tell me if you need a keyboard. Oh, I'll just give it to you just in case. Well, I respect that, Piper, because I think Lux style is among the best to take out an Alexander player, so... Okay, Sinister is here. Oh yeah, some Pekula says we gotta practice more. Yeah, yeah we'll def I'm definitely up for that, Pekula. It would be really nice if you like make a video out of uh, you fighting with Stanovsky. Like some guideline for people to see what this character is capable of, how fun he is to play, mm -hmm. and maybe we'll see more Stanovsky players then. Yeah, we should get on that, Pekola, if you're hearing that. That's a really good idea. Oh, here is another Stanovsky, played by Sinister. Nice. And Roderick isn't going with Get. Go with them. And that thrust landed just right. With the tip going right into the shoulder. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. From that low guard, you actually have two cuts. So he did the one there, but you can press X right after pressing A, and then you do a downward cut right after. So it's still kind of risky, of course, because you're exposing yourself throughout. But if you complete the combo, you have two threatening cuts that are guaranteed to kill if they both land. So. Oh, was he trying Perhaps. to grapple? Looks like it, yeah, that didn't look like a push to me, but I think yeah, Tarnovsky's grab range is sometimes, de especially depending on the stance, it's not very good. They were literally stepping on each other's uh, feet, but why yeah. didn't it grab? Yeah, his hand just didn't reach. I... <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that cross cut. That's... Sinister is trying that low guard cut a little bit too much. Yeah. Open There's that two handed sword. one too, but I think it's kind of niche actually. It looks really cool, but I, I don't think it's actually super useful most of the time. Yeah, and you're open. You're completely open when yeah. you're trying to time it. And the thing is, Sam is not only faster, but he has a good guard, so I'd say his chances are, of blocking it are pretty high, even if he doesn't do anything. Oh. Slice the neck. For a double. Yeah. Oh, and actually... I've noticed people with Sam are using that cross cut a lot, too. Uh, wasn't it Tanovsky who betrayed Sam, or was it some other guy? Ah... Uh... It was a different guy, it was Jakob. Ah, uh, yeah, Jakob, Jakob, right. Yeah, you're right. Another pun. Yeah. Oh, just... Wow. <laughs> I thought he would grapple, but he decided to cut right across the chest. 
Oh. Yeah, push. Ooh. Yeah, I actually think Sam tends to dominate this matchup uh, for the reasons we're seeing here. Switching names. It's certainly doable. It's just, you know, when you've got a solid defense and you've got more speed, more reach, uh, Tarnovsky is going to have a rough time unless you really know how to play him. Yeah, true. Sinister gets back to his trusty yeah. Laszlo and yeah, Roderick switches to his main as well. Yeah, I like doing that sometimes. Skirmishing with characters you're a bit less familiar with and then to your mains afterwards. It's actually kind of fun. And yeah, the first move that landed for Sinister was his rust. But unfortunately yeah. for him, it's not enough to get through Geddy's head. But yeah, this upcut right into his chin is doing the job. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sometimes right you can just move forward with Geddy and cross cut. Yeah, Flashball, you gotta be very mindful of your footsies. Um, it, it's true for Gideon, too. Gideon's actually really good at footsies himself, but... I'd say Lasbow in some ways, a bit more so. Because his range is just a bit more than Gideon, so he wants to be just that little bit further away. I think when Lasbow is moving, he's making slightly bigger steps. Maybe... Just, yeah. Maybe he's just a slightly taller guy, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, he definitely moves faster. There's no, um, and more efficiently, I think, as far as uh, forward and back, anyway. But Gideon has some good, like, lateral movement. I think that's really what his strength is lateral and diagonal movement. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if you're lagging, guys, feel free to pause. Can't forget about that lean, too. Gideon also has that going for him. <laughs> oh. Oak is cheering on Laszlo, of course, but it's not looking very good for the Chad. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just needs to use it YX combo more. And retreat cut, obviously. Yeah, you saw it when I was fighting Pekla. I mean, it is a bit slower than it used to be, but it still hits really hard. And you can hit openings with it actually pretty reliably. And initial step forward is really good on forward Y. Mm -hmm. It's easy to mismanage the distance as on the receiving end, I mean. Like, you think Laszlo is mm -hmm. out of measure, but then he uses it forward Y, and no, he was in measure. Yeah. Some decent neutral options too. I, I was gonna say the thrust is probably not a good idea, but he stunned him enough, so it worked. Yeah, Sinister is making it work. <laughs> I'd be careful yeah, about yeah, relying yeah. on it too much. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go for some cuts too, as Sinister is doing, so that's good. Yeah, that was, that was a really nice looking one. Yeah, just took that hand right off. Ah. Uh, but time oh. for a thrust. <laughs> Definitely not yeah. when your opponent is cutting you. Switching names. And speaking of hands too, that is, I think, something Gideon does a decent job of, is keeping his hand out of the way at the very least. If he attacks, it's exposed, but keeping it close to his body is actually kind of smart. Considering the type of sword he's using, so yeah, it's a neat little detail. Mm. Yeah, sinister on the left now. Yeah, it's a challenge Laszlo has in this matchup. I think sometimes 
because Laszlo loves to aim right for the hand and uh, take it right off. But with Gideon, you gotta be a bit more careful because your elbow can get hit. Oh. Nice. That's a somewhat slow, slower cut for Laszlo, but yeah, when you're using it as a response, it's fine. Yeah, he uh, defeated the attack. Ooh. Not gonna lie, I don't really like using that combo when I use Gideon, but I mean, when it hits, it, it kills you just the same. Oh. I think Sinister was trying to initiate with some dash attack, but yeah, it put him too close to get his cuts. Yep. Oh, there might be... Hopefully there's no lag. Yeah, again, okay. guys, if it's spiking, if it's lagging, just feel free to pause. Oh! Uh, another one. Nice. Yeah, Roderick hesitated a bit after wound. And then Sinister managed to sneak in the second attack. Oh! Nice one. Yeah, that could have been a really cool sidestep, but he got hit. That's a cut I dread dealing with as Alexander main too. <laughs> Aims right for the opening, so you always gotta be ready for it. Yeah. Beautiful looking cut too, especially when it takes the hand off. Oh. Most there most. it is. And it worked, wow. yeah. <laughs> it's it's literally like five point joys jumping with Alex. It's the same for Sinister with some trust. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, if you learn the rules first, you can break them as much as you want. Because <laughs> you'll know when to break them. That's how it, that's how it is, I think. Yeah, true. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Both are tired now. Ah, why is Sinister is hesitating? Okay, so that seems to be a strategy now, is maintain distance and poke where possible. Mm. And use that fast footwork so that, oh. hopefully... Oh. I saw Gideon's thrust is missing. Play Roderick can't hit him. <laughs> it looked like Laszlo was uh, standing up and cut himself with his opponent's blade. Mm. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah Sinister's being a bit cut. too rigid with his strategy, I think. It'll work for some flags, but you're using a saber, not a rapier, so you only have so many options to stab. Oh. I mean, he got it there, but... <laughs> I feel like Roderick's gonna adapt. <laughs> wow, nice. Yeah, he Roderick says I can stab too. <laughs> And that specific thrust too, that doesn't land often. That almost landed again. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> Sinister should try Marta. That reminds me, Yazuk has a thrust that's just like that too. Yeah, and it doesn't land it. enough, I don't think. He received it in one of the recent updates, and it's actually yeah. better than for Gideon, like, it's more accurate. Definitely, yeah. It's slightly but more there's some times, though, Yeah. There's some times, though, where I look at it and it's like, that should have hit, you know, but... Sometimes when it does hit, though, it's just devastating, so... Uh, the trick is, you need to move to Yazik's left. Because mm. you're hitting with Fold's Edge when he twirls the saber. So actually, it's a, a better idea to go around the goddess to move to his left. I see. And, and that happens more often. Oh, there it is. That's a good counter to the thrust. Classic. And Roderick takes it in the end. GG, guys. That was kind of a close one, though. Sinister with his stabbing. I and mean, he was making it work well, but... I think the strategy is just a bit too rigid. That's what it came down to. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you totally. Like, it's a good idea to use this as your like signature move, but then you need to mix it up with something else. 
to make yeah. your opponent think you're not gonna use it and then you use it. Yeah, a simple trick you can do is long guard, but then especially with Laszlo, you can suddenly step in and cut. You break long guard and do a cut or something, or retreat cut, if you're a bit too close, that type of thing. There is snap cuts as well, which can come in really fast against Gideon. Yeah, yeah, and they're good for interrupting when Gideon is throwing something slightly slower on his uh, cross guard cuts. Okay, now it's the time for Apostle and Maestro. Let's see if they are ready to fight. Yeah, Maestro is ready. Already connecting. If you completely turn into a rapier, Gideon will deal with you as a rapier. Yeah, well said, Oak. Yeah. True, true. A rapier of one trick, too. Maybe two if you do the, the, the fancy angle, but... Okay, Apostle is writing something, so he's ready. I assume so, at least. It's sort of like in chess, where at a beginner level you'll see some people bring some pieces out, but then like one whole side of the board you'll see pieces just sitting there in the back rank not doing anything. <laughs> uh, it's a similar thing, you're just not using all your tools, but... Obviously, the tools you are using are effective. It's just bring everything else in, and you're you're good to go. It looks like uh, Apostle is having some technical issues. Yeah. Can't use Parsec. Okay, oh, so... is it the authenticate, or are you just not able to get in? Well, play later, okay. He didn't specify, but yeah, let's postpone it. Okay. So, uh, like, we can have uh, Piper and Black fighting, and uh, then we can do a Postal Maestro. <laughs> My god, the sweat, Roderick says. <laughs> okay, thanks, Maestro. Yeah, All I right? mean, those stabs aren't trivial. As much as we might say, you know, use them a bit less, they're not trivial either. Piper is connecting already, I, I'll poke luck for now. So this one might be just complete pandemonium. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Just setting names. Because I think I know what Piper's going to be looking to do. I'm not going to spoil it. Well, <laughs> but uh, I think it's going to be crazy. Well. But he's doing yeah. this all the time, so it's, yeah. it's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I'll say. Okay, names are set. Let's go. Piper, you take the left side. Luck on the right. Yeah, yeah no, no surprise is surprising. With the <laughs> Probably gonna vomit after this game with <laughs> what Piper's <laughs> about to do, but. Oh! Okay, Actually, it's all being parried. Yeah, luck is getting just the right distance to make yes. the blocks work. Yeah, cause more it's time to the back. Oh, oh, nice wow. combo. Oh, Roderick noticed he lost concentration by the second half of the second match, and it was more complicated to land hits. I see. Have you had those moments where you're in a fight oh. and you just sort of... Oh. Did you see that, Subu? <laughs> Lose like, focus. Luck is trying to go low, and then Alex just goes, boom, I'm punching you in the face. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, mixing it up with the one-two combo there. 
That is something Alex is oh. still good at. He can't do crazy cancel shenanigans anymore, but he can still combo into all sorts of different cuts. But it's actually one of his traits, too, if you look at the character screen. Many of the oh. powerful cutters, so to speak, have that trait. Yeah, he's nice corkscrew. trying to get those jumps so, so hard. But yeah. He needs to mix them. It's literally <laughs> the same as with the thrust for Sinister. Yeah. You're bringing your queen out too early, Piper, <laughs> to use a chess analogy. Oh, yeah, again, he tried to jump. Dustin probably wanted to jump after, but right into the corkscrew. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, you're on autopilot and suddenly you're conscious and fail. Yeah, it, I've had that happen before, actually. Oh. We just lose focus for whatever reason. I thought that was going to get through, to be honest, but... That was a bloody ending. <laughs> oh, 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 Come, what, what? <laughs> Okay, he got the... <laughs> yeah, that's a glitch, I've but seen that before, got it. but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, luck is really good at doing those ballsy forward movements. Like, just throws, doesn't throw anything, just moves. Moves and gets you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Nalak has an initiative on his side, I would say, but yeah, the corkscrew whiffed. Yeah, YouTube's catching up with us. Roderick just saw that crazy grab. <laughs> oh, oh, the punch, punch. nice. No, he was trying to grab, yeah. Oh, but I, it might have been the bug where he... One oh. moment. Yeah. Probably he's lagging, I'll check his ping. No, actually, his ping is good. Okay, I'll unpause now, guys. Please signal with one gut. Oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was a flash step there from luck. Yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning speed. Oh, and there's yeah, the there jump. <laughs> I've seen that in Venator's tournament too. People just zooming all over the place when you pause. Yeah, it's crazy. I wonder if I wonder if that's the explosion thing Kubo was talking about. Uh, it's an additional bug. He wrote about it in uh, his recent okay. patch notes. Like characters still continue to move even though you pause the game. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was really fun to watch. <laughs> Luck gets the first one. Switch names. Ah. Yeah, I always forget that I can actually sit on my couch while I'm not playing. Slightly more away from my TV, but it's more comfortable that way. Oh! Yeah, Piper just moves forward and literally punches the Saber into our space. Yeah. Corkscrew into the face as a revenge move. Yeah, it will be another close one, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, he parried with the cut. Crazy. Wow, yeah. I was expecting the sidestep big swing yeah. to land. I think if he did a static parry, it would have it would have gone through, so... Yeah, usually it lands from such an angle. Yeah, I guess the forward momentum was enough. Oh, nice dodge. There is, there is a lot of luck, luck keeping a solid amount of distance between them though, so you couldn't exploit that dodge. So really good mm, play from both sniper lagging. One he one was long guarding, check. but yeah. Maybe he know. was trying to gra Yeah, he's still lagging. He's over 2,000 ping at the moment, and it's even frozen. It's not updating anymore. Ooh. Now let's let's wait a bit. It's not good. Oh, it, I think it's braiding, yeah. Let's check if it's okay now. Yeah, all good. Oh, 
Oh, my thrust. Oh. Yeah, you see? Piper got that 11 damage through the block now. Mm -hmm. With jump attack. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and now when he's that close, yeah, it will. It may go right through. Or get 11 damage. Right. Okay, nice luck. Getting the stab and then belly lunge. Oh, that is a really good initiating move, and he kept the momentum going with that upcut. Oh, it's the thing you can step. nice, yeah. It's the thing though, you can parry some of these cuts, but then another one is coming in and just if the momentum is on your side, the initiative, you can just keep going sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice head bomb. Oh. That, oh, too far away, but that cancel there allows luck to get a hit. <laughs> that corkscrew actually missed, so he needed that. Corkscrew missed, but the thrust afterwards gets through. Oh, he's tired. Can still dash, but he's tired. Um, uh. Cause any character can't. I think. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's another. Oh my goodness! In the course wow. <laughs> So many dangerous situations that could have gone either way. Yeah, this is gonna oh, be a, a game full. Oh. Okay, Lux still got it. Yeah, Piper can't get complacent here. Ah, uh, uh, he was trying to grab, okay. <laughs> but didn't make it in time. One one. Yeah. Switching names. Mm -hmm. He Let's jumps too this. much. No wonder he got tired. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, I think it actually does take a lot of stamina. It's just you never throw the jump so much that you notice it because it's like either you kill your opponent or you die most of the time oh. or you realize it's not working and you stop luck decided to go butter yeah that's a i think a pretty good pick maybe he wasn't happy with how the court screw has been doing so he wants to go for these up cuts i didn't really see what wow. happened there but it looked like piper did it a jump and then at some <laughs> point killed Luck. But Perry was really surprising, like literally uh, Luck was throwing an upcut at point blank range and somehow Alex managed to like put that saber near his belly and stop the upcut. Yeah. Yeah, the jump uh, attack there definitely needs some, some looking at here. Luck might have actually been better off if Jan come to think of it because Jan can engage from longer range. But yeah, we'll see. That was an issue for me too when I was playing against this uh, Piper's tactics. Yeah. Uh, my result was Barabash where the worst out of all the characters. Okay, Luck has found something though, besides that. Because well, yeah. when you're jumping in the air you can't adjust, so hopefully yeah. then you can just kill Alexander before anything can happen. His sidesteps are uh, his saving grace, but again, his auto guard is really weak against those jumps. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah, if, if, luck, if you weren't aware of luck, something happened with Alex's jump. Uh, I don't use it anyway, so who cares? And, oh, but nice. Other people use it, and it's easier to land through guard now for some reason, so. Yeah, luck is doing great with controlling the but. space. Like, he waited for that whiff of jump attack. Then hit stun. Oh, wow! That didn't go well for him now. Yeah, that, that could have been anybody's, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that upcut is not as effective as it used to be, just because of that jump. <laughs> but yeah, that sidestep is always good. Oh, oh it's usually a good one too, but <laughs> yeah. It, it looked like Barra is slightly shifting to his right, but no, he didn't avoid it. 
Yeah, his his leg just got cut in half, I guess. Oh, what? Ooh. Yeah, Piper with a poor choice of cut there to follow it up, I think. The A cut is not very powerful. Oh, oh. Nice. Lingering 11 damage. After belly lunge. Yeah. And the snap cut didn't quite kill. It probably hit the shoulder or something. Oh. Okay, that angle looks like a really good one that he picked there. Yeah, so maybe abandon the B cut altogether and go for these X cut angles because he's able to hit the head that way. Yeah, yeah there probably goes the it's better to get back to Jan for this matchup. Switching names. So Piper is leading to one now. Swap sides, please, guys. Okay. What is the choice? Mm. Yeah, I was like, okay. Interesting pick. I know Luck knows how to use him very well. He knows all the, the good meta moves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the jump works on him, too, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how, but it does, so... I don't think it's actually good versus Alex, like... Yazik is jumping right in into his guard, no? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. That was a nice dodge, but... To capitalize, and it's a double. I think the rush is only good if Luck can get to the side and then do it. Okay, he blocked it there. That's good. Yeah, obviously the jump needing a nerf. I won't miss it if it is nerfed. <laughs> um, but this is quite an exchange all the same. And now Piper's tired, but oh! That was Lux to, to lose there. Parried it. What the? <laughs> yeah, both finishes were too close there, but Yazit's superior recovery and speed was able to, to win out. Wow, they're just... It's a brawl right now. That thrust is not a good move, Piper. Stop using it. <laughs> More. Big cut. Oh, there was actually a delayed riposte, but Piper was doing a cut, so that was actually a good idea. And that's why it landed. Very skillfully as it played. Thankfully, he's able to hit the head there, so. You actually can trade pretty favorably with Yazlik if you can aim for the head. Okay, Yazlik was a very good pick, it looks like. Oh, hit to the head. Yeah, it kind of goes both ways. If Alexander can hit the head, then it's also trouble for Yazlik. Ah, uh, you got a call, but now I'm back. Yeah, I figured. It's all good. Uh, so pretty even now, actually. Decent? Piper coming back a bit. Yeah. Oh. In fact, this is a banger fight. Yeah, it is actually a banger fight. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice yeah. combo. Yeah. Usually when Yazik lands one, the follow ups will end as well. They're so quick. Yeah. Well, that's how you know Lux experience with them too. Nice thrust, by the way. Uh, because he kept going with that three piece combo. I think a lot of people would have stopped it too. Yeah. That's luckily. Oh, no. Oh. That wasn't that a thrust good idea is iffy. to use it. Yeah, you need to move more to the left to land it. Oh. Yeah, if I were luck, I'd just be focusing on getting these snap cuts to the head because it doesn't matter that Yazlik hits less hard. If you're getting these cuts on the head, you're fine. It, it doesn't much matter. Yeah, and there is also a thing about this rough, like if it hits the body, it won't kill. 
Mooi, and the recovery yeah. is somewhat longer than his basic cut, so you may not follow up immediately. And then if it's a double hit, you can trade badly. So you need to yeah. exercise caution when using this rust. Okay, one moment, guys. I'm switching names. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you, Roderick. Uh, this state of Yazlik is powerful, but he's very fair to play, and I think he's much more fun to play, too. So it's kind of the best of all worlds. Even if you're a Yazlik fan and you want you want him to be really powerful and all the rest of it, uh, you're probably very happy with many of the changes that have been made. Yeah, I think Yazlik is in a really good spot right now. Both yeah. with the variety of moves and balance-wise. And I think his guard is more reasonable too. It's still good, but it's like Samuel levels are good now. It's not yeah, yeah. absurd. And that damage nerf that he received like forces you to play actively with him. You can't just put all mm -hmm. the chips on a single uh, big attack. You need to land some combos. You need to follow up with something. Yeah. Nice moves wow. from both. Wow, that's a. What a snap. <laughs> there, those snap cut to the head. Actually, headshots are very effective here. Uh, Alex can block the head well, but because you're so quick with the Azlik, and because he picked some nice angles, he can still reach over, and he can still yeah. beat oh. Alex to the cut, so to speak. Like, almost managed to sidestep, but that 11 damage didn't stop him at all. Yeah. Very high oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Such a cool avoidance. Yeah, it was so close to. <laughs> Luck me, just to punish with a double. <laughs> Nice fainting, jump oh. attack, gets through a little bit, but Luck does the right thing, he backs away. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, he went on and on and got through. That's luck for you, not retreating. Oh, there's the faint. Piper with some swag. I don't know if now is really the time for that, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Honestly, Piper can make it work, so I won't tell him not to do it. Nice push. Ooh. Ooh. It froze for me, but I see what happened. He did a retreat cut after that engagement. That was well done. Yeah, Luck didn't manage to land his attack. It was blocked. Oh. That initial cut was good, but it was only a partial hit. And then Luck is able to come right back. Oh, he probably wanted to grapple. Yeah, that's right, Roderick. Some of the Aslan's attacks are a bit slower. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's 2-2. Two, two. Uh, isn't it 3-2? Or is it 2-2? Two, two? I think it's 2-2. Two, two. Let's ask uh, the guys. 3-2? <laughs> I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good fight five, either. Five, yeah, five, yeah, three, one, two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was down to the wire. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah. But great game, guys. Great game. Yeah, GG, definitely. <laughs> Especially the last one was very fun to watch. Yeah. Sorry yeah. for spam. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why it's so p luck. It's something to do with ragdolls or something, but yeah, it'll be nerfed. It's just how it is. And probably Cobalt tweaked something with physics in one of the recent updates. That's yeah. That just affected it. Okay, great. Apostle is ready, so we are going Apostle versus Maestro now. It's done. The one to show it off once. Yeah, fair enough. Honestly, it gives. Kubold some video evidence, you know, against a resisting opponent, so, you know. Mm -hmm. 
look at it like that. And uh, honestly, if it's in the game, you can use it. That's the way I see it. So, I mean, yeah, luck does it the same thing. Uh, most people do the same thing, whether they admit it or not. So there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. And like Piper was doing this even before it was like that. So. Yes, exactly. He's playing the way he's always played. So you can't really fault him. It's like I'm playing the same way I always play, you know. So. Yeah. Don't we all? Exactly, Roderick. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, both fighters are in. I'll set the names quickly. Yes, you did dodge a bullet design flaw. Be back for your revenge. There you go, guys. Mm. Zara by Maestro. Cuts from a hospital, then a hit to the hand. Bypassing the auto guard nicely. Oh, beautiful. Maestro is in the middle of something there. Yeah, Yazak just looks so much better than he used to. Yeah, so I'm actually. Somewhat surprised to be honest with how uh, Kubuld is adjusting the balance in the end. Like, the guy, even though he has some uh, development background, but I am i don't think uh, he was actually doing game design and especially balance for fighting games, you know? And just from yeah. the get go, like, most of the characters are pretty good, and when there are some issues. He's fixing them. He's adjusting the characters and getting the balance just about right. Yep. That's some amazing feat. Yeah, and and the and like we've been talking about yesterday, just with the rapiers, the easy fix there is just the better binding mechanics, right? And then with yeah. the rapiers, you can introduce all the subtle stuff they can do, hopefully. Well, yeah. Initially, game was just centered on sabers so he got sabers mm -hmm. just right and uh, like long swords as well yep but just with rapiers you can do some specific stuff that just mm -hmm. isn't fully implemented i'd say into the hellish court yeah and i won't claim to have the answers there i don't do rapier in real life i just know it's complex and all the rest of it, so... It, it's definitely much more than just double lunge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I just hope he finishes that uh, Yazik side story and then gets to fix those stuff. And maybe yeah. add some new mechanic, like... For example, that new character, She-Wolf, with a shield. That's a new mechanic. Yeah, well... That should be a stress test for that, I would think, the binding, because it's essentially the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I would think, so. Maybe it will just use somewhat similar controls, like, you need to somehow control the shield with long guard. Yeah. I'm not sure how, but we'll see. Yeah, that seems to be the intention. So, so maybe that will be a rework of how long that works for all the characters, well, we'll see. And something tells me Yendrick will, because the shield will be destructible too, so Yendrick will probably first will do the most damage to it. So, I suspect she will not have the best time against him. <laughs> One thing I want to say about Yendrick, like, why he's even um, like that is in sort of legacy of the old, uh, well, not design or old build, I don't think uh, how to describe it properly here, but uh, one moment, I'll swap the names, then I'll yeah. continue. So, Apostle got the first one. 
swapping names. Yep, you can go on, guys. So, you need to block differently, you need to parry differently when you are fighting against an axe, obviously, because it's not mm -hmm. a straight line that is coming at you. Axe head is extending from that line, so you need to block yes. further away from your body. And yeah. probably, well, highly likely, uh, auto guard is not accounting for that. Characters are blocking, yeah. just expecting a straight yeah. blade coming at them, or a silver. So that's why yeah. this axe is just going right through almost all the auto guards. Well, in real fencing, people would adjust to it. They will try to adjust oh, yeah. their block to yeah. stop the attacks because they see what they're facing. Yeah, though at the same time, it obviously has more ability to, to break through too. So there's a bit of that. But. Yeah. I, I recently even saw like a short training guide video for Bohurts where mm -hmm. one really experienced guy was uh, teaching newbies about how to use Halbert optimized for Bohurts and he was like pointing exact almost exactly the same thing like you when you are defending when you're taking defense against another guy with a Halbert do it further away from your body because that head yeah. will hit you if you get it too close he yeah. was like pointing it out so they know yeah and you need good structure and oftentimes i would say just disengage or deflect don't you know just static block which is what auto guard often does against it yeah he was showing you can avoid it like some two pieces like you block and then you go into offensive of your own rotating your own uh, halberd but yeah to stop the initial attack you need to block properly yeah definitely and a halberd's a totally different thing from the max too so even more difficult yeah Well, so fight very intense and close fight. Mm -hmm. Nice throw a bit ahead. Possible making Marta work, by the way. We haven't even mentioned Marta a whole lot here, but gotta give credit for that. Yeah, so most of the time Apostle is rotating the character that he's playing, and I think it's mm -hmm. my first time seeing him uh, using Marta on USFC. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And so far, he does. A pretty good job with her. Yeah. I think Marta can still kind of counter a Zera player, especially a Zera player who's overzealous with rushing in, so... Yeah. I think Marta has it the hardest against uh, quickly moving characters, because they can just overwhelm her. Approach uh, too fast, and then she can't do anything. But mm -hmm. if she can keep the distance, and... Yeah, then she can set up those thrusts, sidestep attacks, yeah. aim for blade beats maybe. Yeah, like yesterday when I was playing Zera, that's just because I'm bad with Zera, of course, but I just didn't know what to do against Marta. I think there was a point where I was just auto-guarding instead of long-guarding, because I was like, I don't like my blade getting beaten. <laughs> and it was what? blocking thrusts better, too. At least Why in the fight it was. Uh oh, windmill. Subu, so yeah. I, I really wanted to ask you, why were you throwing uh, one uh, holy god, uh, holy stance attack after another when you got Jara for the second time? Because <laughs> I wasn't sure um, what was going to land against Alex, and I just saw that was working. So <laughs> ah, I see. I was just looking to get some flags and whatnot. Okay, In hindsight, I should have remembered. Long guard Y is also a thing, but, you know. Yeah. Like, Holy Stance is a pretty complex input, and uh, you don't know Jera, so I wasn't expecting you to uh, throw them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, because initially, like, the first fight, I forgot Holy Stance existed, too. So... Yeah, I see. What's the score? Uh, it's 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, yeah. Apostle got the first one with Yazik, and Meister took the second one. Yeah, Apostle going back to Saber. He's played out before. Yep. Nice trades. 
Now Piper may troll us and uh, write something like, Come on, jump more! No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thankfully it still carries risk though. Despite its crush through power, it's not a, it's not a win button. Yeah, thankfully. definitely. The problem for Jero, like, Jero is, um, Jero's auto guard is one of the weakest against this jump because he's swaying mm -hmm. due to his drunkenness. So, yeah. one step to the side and you open for the full damage, not just 11. Yeah. Yeah, they're both kind of vulnerable to each other, I think, and that's why this matchup is very fun. Oh. Nice exchange. Wow, with oh, the low nice. guard he parried. I think it was Rust actually, just the animation looked strange. Might very well be. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, sidestep combo. I always liken Zera to a to a bear. He is kind of slow compared to some of the faster characters, but in those short bursts he can still really surprise you. Oh yeah, that's that's really a fun side of the character. Like he is yeah. not easy to get into because if you don't know what you are doing, you'll be opening yourself up a lot. Mm -hmm. But if you get some of those combos, if you know the transitions, then you can uh, like do some combos and then do some other without delay, yeah. without big recovery. Then you can pull off stuff like this. Definitely. Nice upcut. Yeah, Maestro knows how to to fight this matchup for sure. Yep. The Maestro knows how to hurt us. There was some crisp upcuts coming from Apostle too. You don't see that from Alex very often. Oh, just a tap to the head. <laughs> yeah. Isabella is the worst defender of that though, man. Those one-handed swings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Oh my goodness. Oh. Nice. It looks like it did partial damage though. Yeah, yeah. it was a crush through. Mm. Oh, so close. good try with the upcut. Let's see who is gonna take it. Ah, oh, no. out of measure, yeah. Yeah. Nicely done. He started it out of measure, but he got into Alex's measure as he was transitioning into the second attack. Yeah. One moment, guys. I'll switch the names. Hmm. Anna. Yeah, I love that video about measure that Venator posted, and at one point that Hema guy was talking about how uh, when you move in a circle, you can get closer to your opponent surprisingly quickly. And it happens in this game too, especially if characters like Galax or Gideon. Where can I find this video? I don't think I've seen it. Uh, somewhere on the Discord. I'll post it uh, after we're done okay, so with all this, I think. Is it like in um, Fencing and Martial Arts or some other channel? It's either in Fencing and Martial Arts or just general. Ah, uh, okay. But, uh... Oh. oh. Nice. So the timing's completely different here with Tarnovsky and that's something Meister's gonna have to be wary of. Yep. And some of his and combos are pretty tricky. Like the follow-up yeah. attack can come so far. And the cool thing is, Zera may not look like it because he's drunk, but they both practice Mire. <laughs> so, yeah. just different weapon. Same system though. So it's interesting seeing them fight like this. Hmm. Yeah, Maestro just... One, two. ...is trigger happy, always ready to dash forward. Yeah. 
But one thing he is doing is, he knows he's got the bigger weapon, so he's making oh. really good use of it, I think. Yeah, true. Montana is very vulnerable when he switches to left leg forward, especially if he thrusts. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he can throw hands of Zara all day long, but that reach advantage is really a, a problem oftentimes. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow! I thought he avoided <laughs> that actually when he moved his hand up. Yeah. No. <laughs> he just moved it into the arc of the cut, though. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, a bit of a glitch there, but he still got a hit. Oh, yeah, nice. That's the. That's the. I forget. It, it's a diff, It's. I think it's called the circle where he does the. He does the cut and then completes it. Ah, uh, so it's like anti-circle because he started from. Anti-circle. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, the the one from above where you do the two cuts and end with the low cut is the circle. I see. Yeah. Oh, down to the last flag it goes. Yeah, this is where it gets intense. Cut out of magic. That's a double, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as yeah. I saw that cut coming down to the head. <laughs> Just... mm. Maestro wants to get that combo off again. No. Oh. Uh, oh. He switched the legs and maybe he accidentally went for that forward X, which is really, really slow. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Still. It's only 2-1. We've got another game. Switch sides. Please. Yeah, the X cut tends to only work if you do it off of a parry from longer range. But even then, your opponent has a chance to react, so... It's a good tempo breaker, but often you've got to be ready to, to cancel it and do something else. Mm, is that it? I thought it's 2-1. Is it 3-1? I thought it was 2-1. Yeah. But they already write in like GG, close game. Okay. Let me, let me check. Something else. <laughs> I love that we've been so focused on the commentary, but not the, yeah, the so score. Most of the time, Apostle is rotating. Ah, yes, so he was playing Mata. Yeah, and I think Meister won against Mata. And he played Alexander. Hmm. So yeah, first one was won by Apostle with uh, Yazik. Right. Okay, and that's the other character he played, right. Second one was won by Maestro against Mata. Mm -hmm. And I guess he won the Yazuk, so not the Yazuk, the Alexander one as well, in that case. Yeah, I'm checking Unless I'm misremembering. Now. I'm checking it now. Yeah, so he won with Alex and now he okay. uh, won with Tana, so yeah. yeah. Excellent, okay. So 3-1, yeah. You guys were right. <laughs> Anyways, it was a very spectacular duel and a very intense final. Okay, so let's see who is fighting next then. Uh, one moment, I'll need to answer my call. I'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like Piper vs. Taki was next, but I think Taki can't play, so... Auto vs. Wiggly is probably what we're doing next, from what I'm seeing, unless I'm looking at a outdated list. And the title fight, Tao vs. Eve, should be up next, should be up uh, pretty okay. soon as well. I'm back, so... Uh, I'll check if Odo is ready to play him because uh, he was doing something at the beginning of the event, but he said he may come uh, closer to its ending. Okay. And the Wiggly needs to fight him. Let's see if Odo is here. Hmm. 
if he isn't here, we can just do a title fight. Maybe he will come right after. Okay. He said he needs to go somewhere, but uh, he will be back in like uh, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And uh, I'll check if he was here. Okay, ramblers, let's get rambling. <laughs> Confident that I will have some serious fun because it's always a pleasure to fight Eve, Subu, Oaken, mm -hmm. and other guys who can beat you good. Yeah, I agree for sure. And you focus a lot, try to adjust to see what's not working, trying to use the moves that are working, adrenaline is going on high. Very fun fights to have. Oh, Sinister wants a, a night event that is for North American players. I don't know, man. <laughs> I've been getting tired lately at night, so I can't do that. <laughs> but maybe Pekula can or something. Well, we have a bunch sometime. of people in North America, so why not? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about setting up a time. I know we've done it before. Like, it was a Christmas thing or something. But, yeah, I won't say no to it. It's just uh, I'll have to find a time where I'm not going to just Maybe Maestro can organize out. one if he has time. He yeah. has a cloud to host as well, so why not? Yeah, we got options for sure. Okay, great. So, Auto is not here, but Eve is here. So, we'll be doing a title fight then first. Eve used the jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for you to connect. He's in. Mm, okay, I was fighting from the left side last time. I'll fight from right mm -hmm. today. Okay, interesting choice there. Most champions just fight from the left. But well, honestly, yeah. at this level, who cares, you know? I was so. doing the same, but why not? Yeah, yeah. And the thing, that's the thing with best of five, too, is you, you end up on both sides anyway, so... Even if you're better on a certain side, it probably won't affect the outcome. And well, it's a series of games anyway, so we'll be switching. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, I said the names. And I trust you to go to commentate this yep. because I'll be mute. Yeah, understandable. Make sure you touch tips as always. We're going for a Gideon fight here. Excellent, excellent. I expected that, actually. Always a joy to watch Gideon just throwing hands. Hey, touch tips, guys. <laughs> we got some bloodlusted Gideon players here. That's always amazing to see. Anyway, on the left, we have Eve from the UK looking to take the title from Tao here. He is an amazing Gideon player. Also plays Calc and some other characters. Very chill guy. And on the right, of course, we have Tao, who is known for playing Longsword, but he also dabbles in Saber, so he's looking to fight Eve in a Saber duel. I wonder if it'll be a Saber duel for this entire fight. Anyway, good luck to both of you. Fight dirty, fight clean, and let's get this fight underway. Alex versus Gideon next, that would be cool too. Uh, actually, I think Eve can play a bit of Alex. I don't know if he wants to. It's kind of the thing with Alex, is there's been people who've dabbled in, you know, dabbled with him a bit, but he doesn't have very many players. And, and obviously we start off with the ob obligatory double, with the Gideon Mirror. And then, uh, Tao takes the first flag. 
with a beautiful sequence. And there's that lunge. It's lethal even in this matchup. It's lethal in a lot of matchups because it sneaks under the guard. And, uh... That exposed arm, if it takes a hit, regardless of HP, it's dangerous. And there's a, a nice double from Tao. Probably very thankful he got that one. Because he took a hit and then just sort of threw a cut out there in a panic, I imagine. So... There was a weird looking stance from Eve there, it wasn't... There was a strange looking high guard stance. I don't think it impacted anything though. That might have been the blade away stance, I don't know what it looks like for Gideon. There's that chop from long guard, it's deceptive because you think you can beat long guard when Gideon uses it, but then he does this cut to parry it. And when you do it perfectly, it's really cool to watch. Calc has something like that as well, with uh, left foot forward long guard. And it's a good way to counter thrust too, especially if your opponent overextends. And Tao is just dominating this fight right now. Eve is struggling to make much of anything happen. But his foot seems have been pretty solid. Tao has just been, I think, controlling the fight better. That said, Eve getting a nice hit there. And there's a double. Lunge attempt trying to snipe the arm, but the upcut instead tags Eve's arm in turn. And Eve is on the back foot. That chop forces a double, though, as Tao is trying to finish it. Eve is obviously looking for a more clean hit, but Tao is maintaining this lead with these doubles. At least they're keeping Eve in the game, but there's the thrust into retreat. X cut, and <laughs> the sword just slides on the ground. Like it's on ice or something. And that was just a flawless there for Tao if you don't consider the doubles. Uh, it's not that Eve wasn't putting up a fight, but... He was not able to win any flags, so... Eve is likely going to change things up here. Yes, so Tao is going with Isabella, he changed as well, and it's always cool when fighters do that, they change characters. Uh, but Tao still getting a, a hit right in the opening of the fight, uh, as Eve was just a bit out of measure. Oh, someone pinging in Mitch making chat. Fortunately, we're busy with USFC, so... You might find some opponents, though. There might be some people who are not watching anymore. Whoever that was. Anyway, back to the fight. Eve managing to score his first flag of the fight. But Tao remains a cut ahead. Quite literally. Nice stab. That stab can come out of nowhere, actually. That specific one, because... Um, Calc can do that from neutral guard, he doesn't need to long guard to stab you. It's a bit slow, but when you do it perfectly and you space it just right, it can catch even Isabella's guard off guard. High guard, nice parry from Eve, but I think his stamina is starting to suffer from this exchange and that snap cut. Landing is definitely not good either, but that said, very good exchange from both fighters. And Eve trying to split the thrust in a sensible move, but it just doesn't land. Managing both Gideon and Iz Izzy is something unusual. Managing well, yeah, it definitely is. It used to be like one or the other, especially back in the old days. Like Ilxus and Kexoid would use Gideon. Obviously, Kexoid can use any saber, but Gideon is one of the characters he was known for. And he never really deviated from that, and I think Eve might have been the first. Or at least one of the first to sort of deviate like that. Because often Gideon mains are just so loyal to their character. And obviously Tao has done that as well. He switched from Longsword to, to Saber and Dabble of Gideon and some others. Maybe not a main as such for Tao anyway, but definitely a character he's really good with. So 
certainly not primary main. And this fight has been much more even this round. Eve Calc his hardest. Yeah, it depends on the day for me personally, but I think that's because the main I use is kind of 50 50 against Calc. They're both very vulnerable to each other. And there's the linger from the high guard that's very good for Tau, even though it didn't kill. All that said, it doesn't much matter if you get stabbed in the face. So, Eve evening him out. And there's the nice snap cut from long guard, actually. Tau might have been expecting a thrust rather than a snap cut from that rush, because most often when Calc rushes you down, it's going to be a stab. There's a cut from Eve, but it's but Tau replies with a good cut of his own, and it's literally down to the last flag now this round. Anybody's round at this point. But if Tau wins this one, it'll set Eve back a lot, because that'll mean it'll be 2-0. Despite this close fight, so he really needs to win this one, I think. Nice defense from Tau, some active parries, and he gets it. That was very dangerous with that thrust. That thrust almost slipped right in, and if it did, it probably would have killed Tau. So I think Eve was doing the right thing there. Tau was just really solid with his active defense, and he presented a nice threat. Which in the end allowed him to take Eve out again. Long time to be proficient with. Yeah, yeah, Gideon's tough to use. It's kind of like. Uh, Tarnovsky's really similar right now, I think. Uh, definitely have to put some, some work in. It's not that Gideon's weak per se, but you gotta know him to play him well. Yeah, it was very close, but... That said, Tau has switched again. He's going with Zera this time, so maybe this will be Eve's chance to take a win here. I was kind of surprised he went back to Gideon, but that is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> yeah, Piper really wants to see Alex pulled out at some point, but I don't think that's going to happen. I, Especially with Eve being in the position he's in. If Tau wins one more, it's, it's just going to be over. Tau is tired, but Eve is limping, which so he can't really capitalize on that. And that, that actually adds a lot of tension there. And they've both been hit again. This is bad for Tau's stamina. Eve needing to capitalize, but he can't because he's limping. And so he stands there patiently, but ends up getting stabbed as a result. Not that standing there patiently is a bad move. Um, oftentimes, that's what you need to do because you can't, you can't really move forward much. But it's challenging when a thrust can come out of nowhere, as can a cut. And Gideon's defense isn't the best to begin with. Though I say that, that was quite an impressive exchange by both fencers there. And a nice snipe from Eve. Tower's tired, and that's a perfect time to unleash that thrust. Which Eve was trying to do earlier, but he just couldn't quite get close enough. Tao really testing Eve's defense here. Eve maintaining distance. He's got to close in at some point. You don't want to be far away for too long. That just presents more opportunities. But at the same time, if you can provoke your opponent to overextend, that might give you a chance to punish. And that's what Eve just did there. 3-3, three to three, very close fight. So the tension's definitely... can definitely be felt right now, but Tau is ahead again. Oh, uh, you did, I guess, miss my fight, Piper. Uh, I ended up winning. We started off with a Tarnovsky mirror, then we did a Laszlo mirror, actually, because that's a really fun mirror that we enjoy. And then, uh... I used Alex, and, uh... Brought it home, he used Zera, and I ended up... Uh, he obviously won the Tarnovsky mirror, but I won the other three fights, so... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And we agreed to... To make a video or a guide or something about how to play Tarnovsky, since we seem to be two of the, the better players with him. 
so... I think Peckle is the best bow by far. Just because I've been away for two weeks, if I were to practice more, maybe... I mean, I, I mean, our fight was pretty even, but I think Pekulo's craziness allows him to do more things with him. Am I on a streak? I believe I am, yes. I was just on a hiatus. That flag was really intense, yeah. Uh, this whole round is really intense, because Pau just needs one more. Eve cannot afford to lose another flag. And it's literally 2-0 in favor of Tao, so Eve needs to make the comeback to win. There's no other option, and... While Tao is spending a lot of stamina throwing these cuts, he is presenting threats each time, and Eve just couldn't close in, uh, in time. And Tao is able to take it. Creed is <laughs> game, zero, Eve. actually. Good but game. that was a close flag. Especially that Kalk was really, really dangerous at <sighs> yeah. the end. Those yeah. last flags were very intense, and even with Gary, if he's really good at this matchup against Jara too, like he's keeping the distance. I think if he just tries to do more what Carl is doing with Gary as well, like more side walking mm -hmm. around Jara, and he would yeah. be even in a better position in this matchup too. Still, very good games. Yeah. The, the score doesn't reflect uh, how close those last two uh, rounds were. It, it really was an intense match overall. Yeah, and we uh, still got down to got. the last flag as well, and even I had to come back uh, for a few flags in the end too, because if it was uh, like better in the middle of the duel. And yeah, mm -hmm. even against Jara, it's just a two flag difference. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well done to both of you. There were some crazy exchanges there, too. Uh, I, especially with Gideon, I couldn't believe what Eve was doing there against the Zera. It was really cool to watch. Yeah. I think if he needs to play just a bit more of Gideon, maybe he was playing some other games. That's why he mm. was in need of some warm-up, I guess. That's why he yeah. didn't do as good as he was doing before with Gideon. And still, like, Eve is literally the guy who showed the Gideon to me. So I'm mm -hmm. thankful to him in this way too. Like the pleasure of fighting with this character and in its mirrors too, because of how fast mm -hmm. he is both in movement and attacks. It's really fun. Yeah, that's why Lanslow mirror is so fun too. Uh, it's pretty much the same reason, so. Yeah, yeah. I can totally see that. I, I just like Gideon a bit more than Laszlo because of his cross guard cutting, like more complexity right. with forward moving attacks. Like Laszlo has a bunch of cool combos, but they are all neutral combos. And unlike mm -hmm. that, Gideon has more variety when moving forward. That's why I prefer him. Okay, so let's see if we can get an opponent for Wiggly. Photo is back. If he isn't, then, well, we can accept any volunteer to fight Piper. Or, I'm sorry, I mean Wiggly. I mean, I'm certainly available, but I want to see if anyone else wants to first. Um, okay, Ramblers, let's get Rambly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if actually said something similar to what Roderick is writing right now, when I first played Gideon, like uh, it took some time for Eve to get used to Gideon mirrors too, uh, so we will be so uh, we could transition into fighting to like 50-50, one win, one mm -hmm. loss. Initially, I was winning because uh, well, Eve had a great amount of experience with Gideon. Almost no one else was playing Gideon, so he had. <laughs> He didn't have that much of an experience in mirrors. By the time Ilxus wasn't very active, so no, there were literally no other Gideon active players at the time. So it's good that Roderick is back now too and playing Gideon. UFC, yeah, USFC stats are already updated, yeah, we're... Uh, no, no, uh, <laughs> they are not fully updated. Like, I'm uh, updating whoever wins, whoever loses as we go, but uh, I'm not uh, finished with uh, blading streaks yet. Like for example, so okay. you, got, you got a three win streak after today's victory. So we'll be fighting in a week for the champion's title. 
Nice, nice. He charged right. right there when uh, Piper asked. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's ping and dusk people. If someone wants to fight Wiggly. Oh, oh wait, Design Flaw said he wanted to oh, pers he participate, right? Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. typing, he's available. All right, let's get him in then, yeah. Great, great. Right. Okay, so let's do a Wiggly versus Design. Excellent. Oh yes, Design Flaw also mentioned in the YouTube chat. I wasn't looking at the time. Thank you for typing here as well. But as soon as I saw your name, I was like, oh yeah, Design Flaw wanted to play, so. Yep. It's great. Accepted connections. And both guys are in. And I'll set the names. Alright, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Names are set. It's really good to see design flow coming back. So, I hope you get a good fight out of these guys. Uh, also, design, please remind me if you need uh, keyboard access. Yeah, I guess he needs keyboard. So, here you go. Ah, controller. Oh, you have controller access. Okay, I'll try resetting controls. Maybe it will help. Mm, yeah, design can move. Azatana. It's really refreshing to see more and more of them. Uh, sorry, guys. Alan Pose. Yeah, uh, that was a double hit. Hope nobody's in a bad position. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. So, an Azatana player. Nice. Good to see people trying him out for sure, and uh, Yasuk yeah, as well. That's always interesting. Yeah, Wiggly was saying that uh, he will show something new to us, so probably that's yeah. him playing Yasuk. Yeah. Oof, low guard, very risky in this matchup. Uh, because of exactly that, Yasuk can just snipe your arm. Oh. But, ooh, we got to be overzealous there, trying to go for a grab. So that would have been cool if he landed it. Actually, right. I think it wasn't a grapple, but he pressed attack button and instead he got a punch, which I didn't see. land because he was preempted by the low guard card. That was a good hit, but he just couldn't quite follow it up cleanly, so it's a double. Yeah, it's great to see people trying different characters and especially those newer ones. <laughs> I think Wiggly was just a bit too far away. That was a very good try, though. I right, surprised he didn't win it all the same, though, because he did land. I think two decent shots. There's a nice hit to the head, though. 
Yeah, even though I was trying Yazik for some time, like his running attacks, but I'm still bad with his side steps. Mm -hmm. Well, he's definitely an interesting character. Also, I got into an interesting position, like uh, I wasn't playing Yandrik for maybe two weeks and it immediately showed up yesterday. I was trying him in some skirmishes occasionally, but mm -hmm. just I understood that there is still a limit of characters you can keep like, fresh enough inside your head, so to yeah. say. You can yeah, play different ones, but eventually like I found that it's good for me to focus like on two at the most, maybe three maximum. Yeah. But trying to be good with four, nah, that's a good way for start to like you start to forget some stuff. Yeah. For the characters that you are playing at the moment. I think as a, if you're a saber player, it's easier to play certain other characters because the weapons similar or the same, but. It depends on the character too, there's some complicated ones, so... But I often yeah. say, if you can master one, you can master, you know, four of them, maybe even all of them, if you're really good. Kexoid's yeah, done that, so... And especially if you aren't playing that much, or like, maybe you took a break and coming back, like design, mm -hmm. or just a somewhat new player as uh, Wiggly, it's totally fine and actually it's a good approach to try different characters like mm -hmm. you maybe approach some local uh, skill limit for your main and maybe you can even like, it can be frustrating when you can't immediately get better like i was a few times in such a situations where i wasn't getting any better with jera that's why I actually went on to try Gideon and other characters to take a break from my main, maybe learn something new with the game, and then come back to the character. So, <laughs> it's a good idea yeah. to explore the game more. Yeah, and I mean, I used to be an Isabella main, like, way, way in the early days, right? But then one yeah. day for the Saber tourney, I was like, okay, I'll try Alexander. Not many people play him. And I remembered his guard was good, that was the only thing I knew. Uh, his footwork was annoying at first, but I kept working at it, and now he's my main. So sometimes yeah. you discover stuff like that, and you just stick with it. Yeah, that exploration may lead to something great like that, exactly. Like, you find some characters yep. that you have a lot of fun with, and you just uh, stick with those characters. Yeah, and while my Isabella is definitely pretty good... Uh, I think ever since I switched to Alex and just mastered him, I think that's when I got much better at the game uh, compared to when I just mained Isabella. Yeah, the fact that I switched to uh, like studying Gideon and then also I played some Samuel and for a little shorter time, but still I played some Mata. So yep. yeah. I got to understand those characters better and different matchups better. And it, then when I got yep. back to my mains, it really helped me as well. Like, I started yep. finding more things with my mains that I was blind to previously because I was just so focused on, like, oh, I, I can't get better, I can't win in certain matchups. Oh, it's so frustrating. I took a break from them, and then yep. with, like, new, fresh start, I was able to find uh, answers to the questions that... I wasn't able to previously. Yeah. It's like Alexander's footwork. I mean, I think you've commented before. I do the same back and forth thing with some other characters too because I play yeah, him so much yeah. now. And yeah. it's helped actually, I think, overall. So you can apply some of those concepts to other characters even if they seem very different at first. Did Design win the first duel? Uh... I believe... Wiggly won. Ah, so he won with Yazik, right? With Yazik, yes, yes. We were talking so much and... <laughs> I got <laughs> yeah, slow, just... slightly unfocused on the... match at hand. <laughs> well, it's actually really close. Yeah. Roger was talking about that autopilot thing <laughs> when you're playing. Well, it can happen when you're commentating, too. Yeah, you yeah, just <laughs> blank out.
You focus on the um, moment at the thing you are talking about or doing right now, and nothing else mm -hmm. exists. <laughs> exactly, but... Some cuts from Wiggly using his reach. And it's really cool actually seeing these two specific characters fight, because they also use Mire, both of them. Uh, just different yeah. weapons again. <laughs> also, the speed of movement... Uh... Of both of those characters is pretty similar, so it's a really yeah. well-balanced fight, so to say. Yeah. Oh, They're both complex cool. <laughs> in their own way, too. Like, it's not as simple as using Bara, using both uh, Tana and Kalk. Yeah, it's quite different. Ah. Uh. Oh, design is really making that low guard starter block. Time and yeah, then you transition yeah into the X cut to the head. And if you use it correctly, you've got something that's just as threatening as the high guard cut. Actually, it just doesn't look like it at first. Oh yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get stabbed on the first attack, though. Yeah. When you are moving forward with it, you're <laughs> presenting the shoulder. Yeah. And the trouble is, the reach is different too, so you might hit yeah. the tip of the Dusak. Meanwhile, Kalk has put his whole blade through you or something. Yeah. Oh, oh again, dash the rush this. attack though. It's still viable, it's not what it used to be, but. A very good initiating move for someone who's not expecting it. Yeah, and, and then you can also use dash into snap cut as a mix up. Like, you yeah. got me good with it. I was long guarding, expecting this rush, and he dashed into snap cut and got me. Yeah. Nice mm -hmm. crisscross, too. B in the X cut. That's the one that's often bugged, but this time we didn't notice it. So that's good. Yep. Uh, it was really crisp. Switching names. Swap sides, please. I believe you can do that same cut from Long Guard, too, with Calc, which is pretty cool. Isabella famously lost that ability to do cuts from Long Guard, at least cuts like that, but she used to be able to. Yeah. Okay, Yazik again. And design is sticking to Tana. Yeah, yeah, so it's probably a... Uh, it's tough to say, actually, but I think Yazuk might be the better pick just because of the speed. All other things being equal, of course, not considering who's better with what and whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. So maybe we nice. have, like, two Yazuk mains now? Or even three? Yeah, there's not... Uh, Wrath is one as well. He's very good yeah. at Yazuk. Yeah, and he's uh -huh. playing a pretty defensive one, but yeah, he's really good with it. Yeah. Honestly, he deserves a champion title or two at this point. It's just, there was that one time where I, it, the only reason he lost was because I beat him. But, uh, uh And then yeah. he's literally playing from South America with such a latency. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. If, if there was a South American tourney, he'd just destroy everybody. Yeah. And yeah, if... If you all gathered in some place with like uh, LAN, Tony, yeah, I'd definitely be sure that Russ is one of the contenders for the top spot with how definitely. he's with latency. Imagine the exchanges you could get too with that. Yeah. Both players just ready to defend, and my goodness. I mean, you get some good stuff in Parsec, but when you're there and there's no delay, you know, it's it's a different experience. Yeah, obviously. And Yazut's actually trading pretty well here, and it's like I was saying before, if he hits the head, and not the body like that, those just snap as cuts you say, are still dangerous. <laughs> just as you said, that's a move. <laughs> he traded badly. <Yeah. laughs> exactly, I cursed him. That's authentic USFC though, and <laughs> now 
design flaws coming back to not only is he winning these trades, but he's yeah, by now making the comeback. We have some interest in law behind the UCC, like that fight dirty trades and curses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's a hit to the head, though. Um, Wiggly just needs one more, I believe, to just win this whole fight. Oh, I think oh he tried nice to recovery. Push. Yeah, and he did the B cut of Tarnovsky. That's something you don't see a lot with people who play him, but that is a very good move when you're in a bit of trouble. Just yeah. to bring that blade up and cut upward. Oh, and again. He's using it again. Yeah. It's cool when you do the one where he does the circle too and brings the, the hand up, but as we saw with oh, Maestro, oh. I believe it was, he was able to hit the hand that way. Just another one, those big cuts are working really yeah. well for design, three times in a row. Yeah, it's deceptively fast for Tarnovsky actually, it's one of his quicker options. So it's 2-1 I guess. Yeah it is. I'll swap sides please guys. Okay, I'll do it. Mm. I hope everything is alright. Yeah, maybe just uh, misclick. Oh, okay. Looks like it. Yeah. Back Wiggly to Cal. Yeah. Or maybe he's just uh, fair. I mean, he maybe he's just not used to playing Yazik from the right side. I'm not sure. That could also be, yeah. Like he I don't think Kalk's a bad with pick. Yazik, then he went with Kalk, then with Yazik again. Oh. Mhm. Mm yeah. Signal with long guard if you're good to go. Okay. No. Oh. Uh, your voice. <laughs> your voice was at super. For speed for a moment too, so it might have been something on your end actually. But it looks fine now for me. Okay, that's good. Maybe yeah. something is I th happening I think it was just... <laughs> on the internet in between us. Yeah, perhaps. Hmm. Big cuts. I like how he lunges forward too. It kind of makes up for the fact he's got a shorter weapon. But it is a telegraphed move by 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 design because of that. So. Tana is my second favorite character for sounds. The first one being Gideon, this house. He's <laughs> like, oh, ah. yeah. And Tana is very vocal. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I love it when he says, ah, come on, <laughs> yeah, when he gets yeah. hit. I know that's not exactly what he's saying, but it sounds like what he's saying, and I think that's what he's communicating, though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if you're yeah. transliterated, it's something like he's, that. He's probably. crossing, obviously. So, <laughs> he's <impressive. laughs> it fits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just one of those moments where he's speaking Polish, but I know exactly what he's saying. Exactly. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, Yendrick's nice. cool too with, with the stuff he does. He, where he was like, "Yay!" After he. Oh, he just plain laughs at you. <laughs> His laugh reminds me of the assistant that Russ had on that. On that, on that, uh, Fokos video. Because the, uh, the guy he was demonstrating on kept laughing whenever he was hooked or something. And it's a very see. similar laugh. <laughs> I see. Uh, anyone who's done martial arts will know that. There's some people who are just addicted to feeling pain. They're double-jointed or whatever. They just love being put into chokeholds or what have you. <laughs> oh when they're gosh. being, uh, especially when they're doing demonstrations. So, 
Oh, that was a nice thrust. <laughs> I was just going to ask you what do you think yeah. Tana can do here to beat Kalk? <laughs> and he just used that thrust mm -hmm. pretty neatly. Yeah. I guess that's an option actually. He's it's kinda difficult to get the timing right, but he can be a decent counter thruster in my experience. Nice. Yeah, when you use that <laughs> low gut cut as a response, yeah. You are not no yeah, longer very... opening yourself for some threat. You can use its speed. Yeah. Nice. You're just cutting and if you time it right you can guard your head too, so Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. I thought the first cut was gonna hit the arm. Maybe the basket stopped it, but that. Ah, so boom. Are you here? Yeah. Uh, is it Discord? Yeah, yeah I'm here. Yeah, your voice was disappearing. Are you not hearing me? For a second, to it might be. Here, you know. Yeah, yeah. Discord has issues like that sometimes. And Design Flaw might actually take this one too, so he's adapted well, and he's stuck with his character here. Turn off ski, so... As Roderick said, it was very good combat. Oh, that short thrust messed him up. Unfortunately, it doesn't reach very far. The idea was solid, but the, the execution by the character, not so much. Nice, just because of what he does. Oh, thrust cuts. He really wants to end. He's got to watch the stamina, but it it ends up working. It could have ended very badly, though. Sometimes you gotta take that risk. But <laughs> it would have sucked if he got tired and then <laughs> grabbed or killed or something. So is that it? That should be it. Yeah. That was a wonderful series of fights yeah, overall. That was a nice comeback by Design Flow in the end, but yeah, legally managed oh. to adjust and get it. Otto just woke up right when the fight ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw. So, uh, <laughs> we'll, I guess we'll find someone to fight him too. Okay. Actually, I, Wiggly won, and uh, he was fighting recently, so maybe Design Flow wants to fight one more. Yeah, because he come back, so... He's typing, so it looks like he probably wants to, and then... One more? Excellent, yeah. Great, great. Let's do it. Okay, I'm getting out of him. <laughs> he, did his, he did his cross and prayed in the combos, is what Wiggly said. That last flag there. And that's a really good example of the importance of having a, a killer instinct, I guess, when you play. Uh, sometimes when you smell blood, you just gotta go pursue it. Um, in that case, it was a bit risky, but sometimes that is the best option. As soon as you get a hit and your opponent's faltering and just focused on defense, sometimes you just gotta go in for the kill. And if you hesitate, that's where your opponent can suddenly get counterplay, so... Okay, Odo is connecting, and I'll need to ask him about one more thing.
Okay, I'm setting the names. Odo is a new player joining our events. Maybe it's his first one actually, I'm not sure, but I think uh, that's it. So he's uh, getting used to playing from the right side as well. Like I told him okay. that it has uh, different controls, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, it's always a pleasure watching new players getting in, joining our community, getting better. Key names are set. Definitely. Both guys are in. Ah, fuck. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> I hope uh, YouTube... It happens for the best of us. ...won't set the rating higher due to this word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, some of the rules are just ridiculous from what I've seen that they've got. As far as monetization, it's not really relevant for us, but it can lead to to age restrictions, apparently, if the bot just decides one day, you know, yeah, your yeah, video know. is has too much adult content. So that's the main issue. But well, As I wrote it in chat for me, uh, the more surprising scene was, like, they notify you about it. But they don't specifically state yeah. what was the exact violation, like what word or yeah. at, at least maybe at what timing did this happen? No, they aren't showing yeah. you. And this is true regardless of how popular you are too from what I've seen. So the difference is if you are popular, of course, you can just complain on Twitter or something and they'll deal with it. But Yeah, actually, it's worse for <laughs> like smaller YouTubers. Yeah, because you can't get attention. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so Odo is actually playing Jan. Ooh, nice bubble. I'm not sure if he had previous PvP experience, even if it was local. Maybe he was just fighting yeah, that is I guess I'll, I can ask uh, him after they finish the fight. Yeah, I'm actually curious about that. That upcut he did is kind of slow, but he did manage to force level, so that was good. It's not a bad angle to take, it's just you gotta watch your head when you do it. That's true of any character, though, to some extent. I see. <laughs> some fancy combos there. When people come to PvP from fighting AI, like, the two biggest differences are movement, people move mm -hmm. in a completely different way, and then the amount of attacks that can be launched at you, like combos, yeah. that's different as well. Yeah, and the attacks have a purpose, because, like, the AI obviously has the aggressive one where it will throw a lot of cuts, but they don't really have a purpose to them, they're just being thrown. Yeah, just moving forward and attacking, and, and people <laughs> usually try to set something up, like first attack may be thrown out of measure, but the idea is for like, you to do something, and then they respond with second intention attack. Yeah, exactly. I think the most devious thing the AI does is it does the long guard thing, where you think you can beat the blade, but it can always react <laughs> fast enough to, to break it and then try throwing a cut or something. Oh. So. Actually... If, uh, like, you can imagine some perfect AI, it would be literally mm -hmm. impossible to beat uh, it with human reactions. Well, yeah. Like, it will Definitely. always counter guard, guard, uh, guard break, it won't allow you to push it with movement, it can even, like, throw exactly mm -hmm. appropriate attacks for active parries all the time, like, if it's the best AI yeah. possible. Yeah, definitely. That's true of any game, really. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think uh, they still didn't make an AI for Shogi that managed uh, mm -hmm. to beat the best Shogi players. Just like it's possible in chess, but Shogi oh, is, in is chess, much yeah. more complex. Just the amount of combinations that is possible there, just so much bigger. So, yeah, I think I haven't heard that they made an AI to beat the best Shogi players. Yeah, that's totally possible if with 
the thing with chess is there's all sorts of bots that are better than the best grandmasters now. It was a big thing like decades ago that that a grand master, the best grandmaster was beaten, right? But yeah. it's only gotten better since. So. Yeah. And nowadays it, we're in a situation where grandmasters will study well, and also international masters and whatever. They all study computer moves. They don't just study you know stuff that people play. They study computer moves and see what the computer likes. And so some of the meta, so to speak, in chess is now dictated by that. But yeah, and that's, memorizing that. That's the difference as well. Like computer may have some grand scheme that will like mm -hmm. show itself on like ten moves, fifteen moves. He has. Yeah. It can just. That's how they catch deeper. cheaters. Yeah. Because. The computer doesn't care about a piece, like how valuable it is, it just cares about winning. So it'll do the most stupid looking moves. And oftentimes cheaters won't even know why they're playing them, they'll just play them, right? Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> and sometimes they'll decide, oh, I'll play my own moves. You know, so they can try and fool the algorithm, right? Yeah. But you can see the difference immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not that the algorithm's perfect, I'm sure there's people who are really smart, they know how to play the game, so they can get away with it, but, you know, they do catch a lot of people, so. Oh. Let's get back to our match at hand, <laughs> only two fights yeah, very close for both fighters. <laughs> yeah, he's been doing a great job uh, of Yon, ooh, design fall a little, little bit ahead. That was At a nice point. attempt, but somehow it was a parry. And the low guard, he loves the low guard, but in that case he was maybe a bit too far. There, he lands it, <laughs> but he's tired because he's put it in oh. doing so. Got the hand in the end, <laughs> GG. Okay, we are switching sides now, and I'm switching the names. Okay, I'll swap it. And I'll just write it in chat just in case. So design is fighting from the left, order from the right. Hmm. No, not Alex. I wonder what character will he pick. Okay. Sarah. Pharaoh Zero player, yeah. Interesting. Now, let's see if he knows his strengths and weaknesses. Probably Jera Mira is the most fun mirror for me to play. Because of the complexity and... Like... There are good moves, but then you need to be aware of his weaknesses and recoveries. Yeah, it's interesting, because a lot of Zera mains actually say they don't like the mirror. But it seems to be a subjective thing, as with any... Oh. I really, I really enjoy that side of Jara that has complexity, like with stances, mm -hmm. with recoveries you need to be aware of. Like you can't really rely on like two to three best moves to win. You need to utilize more of them if you want to be really good with Jara. And when you are going into a mirror, it easily becomes like, do you have that deeper knowledge? Can you use those small moves instead of just two, three yeah. effective ones? That's why it's fun for me. Nice for tree cut. Uh, he was trying back Y, but yeah. he missed. Yeah, and there's a really good tactic against Zera there. The design flaw figured out is going to the side and doing a cut. Yeah. Side that lunging move Jara is always good. Yeah, that lunging move reaches so far too. It can be a bit risky, oh. but 
That was a cool thrust. Yeah, it's not really good, but when it lands... <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's a good idea to challenge it, but if you try to retreat from it, yeah, it will land exactly like that. It will kill yeah. you. And you feel kind of stupid when it does hit you, because it's this drunken step forward <laughs> into the yeah. stem. Yeah. But yeah, that's, what, that's why we love seeing it land. <laughs> yep. Oh, big swing. Yeah. Yeah. There's that Immediate. combo. Immediate punishment. Yeah. Designfall is playing this well. He obviously doesn't know his opponent very well, but he's found one specific move, and he's able to make it land pretty reliably. And that's sometimes all you need, especially against someone inexperienced. If you start trying to get too fancy in this game, you might pay for it, so... Yeah, exactly. It also helps the new guy learn, too, because eventually he might figure something out, and then it's just learning experience, right? He won't fall for it again, hopefully, as much. But then there's some people who are just so good at the game, they'll find something and it'll land no matter what you seem to do, so there's also that. Personally, I think it's fine for a new player to play Jara, but only if said new player is like a Lonsot fanboy. Like, you need to be <laughs> yeah. ready to maybe beat him at the beginning until you figure him out because he's definitely more complex for a beginner to get into. And yeah. like, you are just studying the fundamentals of the game and yeah. then you have a somewhat complex character to study as well. So it's hard. Yeah. But then if it's fun, regardless of uh, win or loss, then it's totally fine. But yeah. if it's a problem... You can always switch to like more basic characters like Jan, yeah. Barabash, Laszlo, or just Isabella. Alright, we'll be switching sides now again. It takes another win for Design Flaw. Yep, very solid Tana play. Now, Oro is fighting from the left side, design from the right. Hmm? Getty? No? Yeah, Yazik is probably a decent character for a beginner too. Like, he has his complexities, but just his basic cards are so fast and good and God is solid, so... You can rely on them. Yeah, yeah, they are fast. Just need to get close enough to land them. Oh, that snap cut actually hit, but yeah. somehow Tana survived. That hit, yeah, hit didn't to kill the head. Him. I wonder if the game considered it a neck hit for some reason, and then thus it's a body hit because of the modeling. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hate that so much though. I'm sure Kubalt has a reason for that, but it just makes, seems logical to make it the head and just leave it at that. Once he gets to balance in the game, I'll seriously give him a suggestion yeah. to make neck uh, the head hit boss. Yeah. It's only appropriate. Yeah, right now it might be a bit much to change that, I don't know, but... Because you obviously got to mess with the hitboxes at that point, so... Oh, that's still a double. Full edge cut, yeah. That is such a cool cut when you land it, but if you accidentally throw it, you look like a fool. Which can happen if you're in long- if you're in low guard or something. Or you switch to low guard trying to do long guard. Nice. <laughs> And lying on the ground. It's very deceptive. Gideon has a similar thing where when you're in trouble, you can just retreat X. And you think the blade's not in danger of hitting you, but suddenly your hand's off because it draws across your wrist. 
Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, so this thrust won't kill if it hits the body, but if you land it on the wrist, that's it. Yeah, he's good to go still, just trying to play solid. Oh. oh. Yeah, this trade I was more was gonna be a double. to Yak. Yeah. Double hit after all, but somehow Yazik survived. We really gotta watch the stamina, it looks like. Uh, design for. He's provoking his opponent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Those friends. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I imagined him saying that. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, whoever <laughs> gave his voice to Tana did an amazing job. Yeah. Just the trash talk, as you can imagine, you just imagine what he might be saying if you don't speak Polish and it's amazing acting. Uh, actually, uh, Victorious gave me a translation of one of the phrases he's saying. Mm -hmm. Not this one, the other one, and it was pretty plain. Uh, I was slightly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> like, no trash talk, he's just saying, oh, as I thought. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how I would transliterate it, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice grab, yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's something newer players sometimes struggle with, but you get better at sensing when you're in danger of being grabbed as you play, so all you gotta do is move back. Yep, exactly. Still, some good and games, he... and I hope yep. they I will provide that much-needed experience for Odo when facing real players and not just AI. Yeah, you'll get better as you go, and obviously that grab was pretty memorable, but that just means you gotta focus on learning how to counter that, and it won't happen so easily again. But honestly, even the best players do get grabbed sometimes, so... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's just how it is. Definitely. So, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Subu, for commentating together with me. And no see you next time. See you next time.